actually through swimming uh, or any prone position activity. When you're in the prone position, there's other advantages, but relatively few sports are in the prone position. I mean, maybe paddling, you know, prone paddling or surfing to a certain extent. Um, right. Not even rowing. Rowing is in a sitting position. So. Right. But I don't want to cut so, into your time, but I thought you'd like that. No, I mean, this is, these are all, I mean, you know, we have these workouts, we know how to work out. I think it's also these bits of information. I know like George has taught me some things and yeah. I think sharing this knowledge is also really important um, because it'll optimize all of our workouts. So yeah. that's really cool. Um, and I do actually teach Pilates as well. And we spend a fair amount of time like in the prone position doing swimmers and different things. So that's really cool to know that there's, some actual science behind it yes. as opposed to just the muscular benefits. So cool. I always love learning new things. Awesome. Well, on the note of making our heart work nice and hard, we have a cardio centric day today grown. Oh goodness. Yes. It's going to be really hard. Uh, we had a little easier day yesterday in terms of the moves were less technical. We were just going through our circuit. We had a longer interval. Today we're going to pick up the pace. We're just going to do the hard work, uh, and get it done with. So on that note, everybody up stand. Bands are on, water is had, hydration, yes, very important, especially in these summer months. Um, if there's anyone on here on Instagram or Zoom I, I have not yet met, uh, I'm Laurel. I live in Los Angeles, California, and welcome to my living room. Uh, someday this week, we might also be in my backyard. We'll see. Uh, cycle's going. Get them started. Cool. Um, let's just start with some shoulder rolls. Get things moving, get them working. Um, also, if there's anyone new on here specifically for the Instagrammers, uh, Zoom folks, I know you're well aware of this. With our bands, we work smaller muscles before bigger muscles. So it's the opposite of what we'd be doing in, say, normal weight training. And on that note, we're going to get started today with some forearm fireworks. As I call them, we are doing two sets of each exercise. Our interval is 40 seconds. Uh, and I encourage you to do as many reps as possible in this time. So arms out to the sides at an angle, of course, wrist under shoulders so that we can pull that blood, get that venous return, as we learned today is so important. First 40 seconds, we're going out and in, squeezing as fast as we can. Time is rolling. Let's go. Venus return. That's what it's called? That seems like some kind of like astrological phenomenon. <laughs> there's Mercury retrograde, and then there's my Venus return. All right, good. See if you can pick up the pace a little bit. Really imagine you are squeezing a stress ball as you pull the fingers in towards the wrist, waking up those forearms. I've said this many times and I'll say it again. Anyone who has or ever will do rock climbing, this is a great exercise for you. Something I enjoy partaking in every now and then. Last 10. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Quick forearm stretch. Right fingertips in. Switch. Left fingertips in. We'll do this again after it. And arms out to the side. Second set in three, two, one. 40 seconds. Forearm fireworks. Let's go. Great. Hmm. Prone position. Interesting. Always good to know. All right. Let's get going nice and fast. Move, move, move. Very, very, very safe exercise, but important to do. Half done. Whew, if you can go a little faster. Oh my goodness, my forearms are burning already. Last 15 seconds. All right, give me 10 all out, then we'll take that stretch at the end for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Ooh, pull the left fingertips in towards the body. Give that wrist a press, extending the wrist away from you. Switch sides. And really silly move, but I absolutely love it because it's fun. Next up, going from baby muscles to slightly bigger muscles, we have triceps. We will be doing our crab walk. If you have wrist issues, you can always do triceps tricep extensions instead, but I like the crab walk because we also get to work our glutes a bit as well. So we might as well target a couple muscles in one. 
So for crab walk, ideally, my fingertips are facing towards my heels. You can always do it with hands out to the sides. Press my butt up and off the floor. 40 seconds, moving forwards and backwards. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. Time's going. Good. Keeping your butt up the whole time, keeping those arms nice and straight. And by all means, you don't have to move forwards and backwards. You can walk around your whole house, take up a lot of space, as long as your butt's off the floor. Get it up even higher. There we go. Good. Nice. Maybe pick up the pace. Today is our fast day. Let's move through it. Awesome. Half done. <laughs> Yeah, last 15 seconds. Forwards and back. Let's keep those arms straight. Cruising around. Give me 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Give the wrist a roll. There's a lot of pressure on the wrist. All right. Second set. Crab work, crab walk can feel kind of awkward, but that's also why we do it. It's good to build those muscles. Root the hands into the mat. Get your butt up and off the ground. 40 seconds. Let's walk. <laughs> Hips up even higher. There we go. Back and forth. Ooh, I like it. Nice. We are half done. Keep cruising. I'm going to check and see who's on our workout today. Keep up the good work, gang. 15 more seconds. Keep moving, keep moving. After this, we'll take the stretch. Give me six, five, great tie. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and set your butt down. Right arm across the body. Left arm across the body. Next up, we're doing our bicep curls, but today we're gonna do bicep curls uh, with an external rotation. So I'm doing these on my knees. Feel free to do them on your knees or standing. I'm gonna rotate the arms out to the side and we're gonna pump as fast as we can, but we're going side instead of straight forward. So we've got 40 seconds. My cycle stops, gonna get that going again. Do yours as well. Elbows in, rotate out to the side. We have 40 seconds in three, two, one, pump those arms. And just because we're moving fast today doesn't mean that we, want, we don't want to really activate the biceps and not to throw our arms around. So pump, pump. Imagine you're pulling something in. Pull, pull, pull. That's it. Awesome. Woo. Nice, fast moves, strong muscles, strong body. You can go even faster if you want, by all means. This is just my pace. There we go. Last 15 seconds, all out. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, yes, 10. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Next set, arms out. Grab those imaginary weights. We're going in three, two, one, 40 seconds. Pump it. Yeah. See George flying. Good. Woo, there we go. Squeeze those fists the whole time. Keep an active. Oh, boy. <laughs> Arms are getting nice and tired, and that's our goal. We are half done. Pump, pump. Keep pulling those wrists out to the sides. External rotation at the shoulder joint. 15 seconds. Here we go. All out. This is our last set. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and Ooh, my arms are dead. Wow. I saw a couple of you guys going so fast. And you inspired me to really pick up my pace. Nice. All right. Next up, we're coming down for a forearm plank jack. So the work here is really engaging the muscles of your shoulders, your chest, your triceps to keep your body stable in that forearm plank, even as you're doing a jack with the legs. So we're going to come on down to our forearm. If jumping isn't the working for you today, you can always step out side to side, but the full version of the exercise is I come into forearm plank and I jump out and in for 40 seconds, okay? Otherwise, step, step. So make your way into forearm plank. We're going in three, two, one. Forearm plank jack, here we go. Good, keep it up. 
Nice. Great job, Instagram. Great job, Zoom. Yes, see if you can engage those arms so much that we try and keep the rest of the body from bobbing up and down too much. It's really hard. I'm guilty of doing it myself. Awesome. We are more than half done. 15 seconds left. Keep going. Fantastic, Diane. Bonnie, you've got it. Woo, last 10. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We're flying. Everyone's going all in today. I love it. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. You can press the butt back for a quick rest, letting the shoulders take a moment. Good. And let's go ahead and get our second set done with. After this, we have one more upper body exercise. We're going to get the heart rate up, and then we'll flop out our bands and have our question of the day. Start to shift the weight forward into forearm plank. All right, 40 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go, out and in. <laughs> yes, that's it. Good, and I'm seeing upper bodies are nice and stable. Instagram, I can't see you guys, but keep doing the work. Good job. Woo! There we go. <laughs> awesome. Half done. Nice, Jim. Last 10. I like George's background. He's got some mountains. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two. Everybody drop your knees. Stay in that forearm position. A few rounds of forearm cat cow. Lift chest and tailbone. Pull navel to spine. Round it out. Two more. Lift the chest and tailbone. Pull navel to spine. Round it out. And last one. Now quick shoulder stretch. Make your way onto your hands and then start to walk your arms away from the body, dropping the chest down towards the floor, extending through the fingertips so much that your elbows stay hovered off the mat and you stick your tailbone up towards the sky. Nice back bend and shoulder release. Making sure we're breathing here. Good. And start to walk the hands back towards the body for our last upper body exercise of the day. It is a high plank shoulder push-up. What the heck does that mean? So unlike a regular push-up where we bend our elbows and go for, through a full range of motion, in this one, we're working our scapulas. So I come into a plank. I let my body drop, push up. Body drop, push up. So I'm protracting and retracting my shoulders, keeping my arms really straight. So go ahead and make your way into plank position. First 40 seconds. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Shoulder retraction, protraction, retraction, protraction. Keep going, keeping those arms straight the whole time. If you want to move fast through it, go for it, keeping your hips up the entire time. And this is a very odd push-up variation, but it's important, especially for the purpose of good posture and keeping our shoulder blades nice and strong. Mm -hmm. If you can go faster, do it, but everyone looks like they're doing really great. It looks easy, it starts off easy, and it's a harder burn. Mm -hmm. Last 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Good. Give me six, five, four, Three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. Give the left shoulder a couple circles to release it. Left arm. And let's work into the right arm. And let's set up for our second and final set. Make your way back into plank position. Shoulder protraction, retraction, push-ups in three, two, one. Down and up. Keeping the hips stable the whole time. We don't want to let them sag. Great. Woo, I love it. We haven't done those ones in a while. Important stuff. <laughs> Good. After this, we're going to get our heart rate up with our three moves, 30 seconds each, and then we'll flop out our bands. 
Last 15 seconds. Keep it up, keep it up, don't stop now. Even if it's just a few of them, try and keep moving at the very least, stay in plank. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job, everyone come on up to stand. Grab a quick sip of water before we get going. And of course, sip water throughout your workout and whatnot. Um, I just always try and be mindful of having a stop and take water breaks because I'm really bad at drinking water. And so I almost have to remind myself and everyone else just gets reminded along with me. All right, our three moves to get our heart rate up today are one, overhead jack, two, lateral hop, and three, crisscross punch punch. Okay, so let's start with those overhead jacks. 30 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go. Get that heart rate going. Leg moving, arms moving. Peripheral heart action. When the limbs move away from the heart and it's forced to work harder to pump blood. Half down. Woo. Yeah, give me seven, six. We have lateral hop in four, three, two, and one, side to side. You can do whatever you want with your hands. I kind of like to keep mine together for stability. You can take them to your hips. There we go, get those knees up. Yeah, woo. We're moving after this, we have crisscross, punch, punch, Let and 10. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Chris, cross, punch, punch. Last 30 seconds. Rotating on the toes of the back foot as you punch. Working your core, working your spine into it. Half done. I think this is my favorite one of the three, probably because it's the easiest. Whew, let's pick it up. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! All right. Let's go ahead and swap out our armbands for our leg bands. The question of the day is, and I really like this one as I catch my breath, what invention would you love to see exist in the next 50 years? And the 50 years is just an arbitrary time period. It's what invention would you like to see exist? Go for it. I want to hear your answers. <laughs> Instagram, feel free to toss them in the chat. Those on Zoom are going to toss theirs in the chat as well. And we'll discuss as we saw about our bands. All right. Oh, boy. I knew George would have an answer. <laughs> Teleportation. Yeah. That would be really, really, really cool. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Or the closest thing, maybe in California, a bullet train. We've been promised that for a while. We'll see what happens. All right. Getting those leg bands. Steve says, my thoughts to be understood by my wife, although that might be risky. <laughs> What an honest guy, though, to even think that as an option. I love it. You'd never have to explain yourself. She would just automatically understand. I like it. Anyone else? Inventions you would love to see be reality. I mean, it could be anything. It could be like vegetables that taste like cookies but give you the nutrients of vegetables. Anything is possible. All right. I'll take those answers. I like this. I feel like Jim might have some thoughts here, but we'll see. <laughs> All right. Bands are hooked up. We will get going in a moment. Jim says, medical diagnostic scanner. Would that be for like personal use at home? Or just a scanner in general? I like that. You didn't get anything medical. That's cool. All right. Ah, I don't actually know what my invention would be. I think teleportation would be really high up there. That would be pretty cool. All right, bands are on. We're going to start 
with a quick warm up. Um, let's do some circles with the legs and then we're gonna start to work our calf muscles. Uh, and I do wanna make sure we have time to do core today because uh, I have two exercises we're gonna do two sets of because we gotta give a lot of love to our midsection as well. So starting by working into the right leg, just start to move it around, keeping the hips stable to open up the hip socket. Good. And we're not doing this for time, just opening everything up. Maybe two more. Then we'll work into the left leg. And switch sides. Good. And I have my hands on my hips because I really want to work to keep them stable. So my body isn't twisting and moving. I'm just isolating this particular joint. Good. Give me two more. And let's wake up our calves with sumo heel lift. Toes out to the sides. Rotate the feet as far open as you can. External rotation in the hip socket. Then bend your knees. Add some weight to the calves. First 40 seconds, up and down. We are rolling. You can do whatever you want with your hands. If you want more of a challenge to the balance, you can reach up and overhead. Otherwise, you can hold them or put them on your hips. Mm -hmm. And remember, as many reps as possible. So let's get moving. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Up, up, let's go. Maybe don't even let your heels touch the floor. Pulse them. Woo, that's it. Good. Last 10 seconds, up, up. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your heels, give the hips a wiggle, rock it side to side. Second set, you know what to do. It is a bit challenging on the balance. If you want to do this holding onto a wall or a chair or something, I'm okay with that. The exercise is not necessarily about the balance. It's about the calves on this particular day in this workout. Sometimes we do it for different purposes. So second set, bend into the knees. Get as low as you can as you want to. Heels off the floor. Keep them up the whole time. 40 seconds. Up, up, up. There we go. Woo, nice. Trying to keep the upper body as stable as possible as we do this so we're not bobbing. We are contracting the calf muscles. Yeah, that's it. We are half done. Up, up. Keep going nice and fast. Ty's got it. <laughs> Jen's got it. Body looking good. Last 10. Don't stop now. Work through the shake. Give me seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wow. All right. We're going to get our heart rate up. We're going to take a water break, and then we're going to cruise through the rest of our exercises. First 30 seconds, overhead jacks. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Everything today is fast, so let's move fast, guys. Good. Ooh, get my cycle going again. Nice, last 10. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lateral hop, side to side. 30 seconds. It's nothing compared to our 40 second interval. We really work through it. Yes, there we go. Now we're moving even faster. Woo, 11, last 10. Then we're going into that crisscross punch punch in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Criss, cross, punch, punch. There we go. Ooh, that's it. Come on. Work through those arms. Use the core to get over a little bit first. Last 10. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let the heart rate slow down. Grab a sip of water. We are going to continue keeping the heart rate up with lunge jumps. Boo, lunge jumps, we hate them, I know, they're hard. We can definitely do it, okay? We're gonna do our lunge jumps, then we're gonna let the heart rate slow down with an exercise. 
So know that we're going to keep it elevated. We're doing that hit thing, high intensity interval training, really challenging a heart, but also getting stronger. So for our lunge jump, one thing I want us to be mindful of is that we bend the back knee. So it's not this, it's this. Okay. If you absolutely can't jump today, Laurel, I refuse. I'm not going to do it. I'd rather sit and sulk. Do reverse lunges. Okay. Something for everyone. 40 seconds. Lunge jump in three, two, one. Let's do it. Get those back knees down. Yeah. Keep it up. And that is my pace that doesn't have to be yours. If you want to move slower through it, that's okay as long as you're moving. Oh my goodness, we're already half done. Amazing, keep going. And we only have two steps, we can do it. Lunge down. Mm -hmm. Awesome, 12 more seconds. See if you can do eight more in this time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. First step's already done. We're halfway through the exercise. Good job, kick the legs out. What do you know? We did it. All right. Big breath. Whew. Second set. Let's do it. My mouth's all crooked. Let me straighten this out. Got so excited about all those exercises. Things are flying all over the place. All right. Second set. We're going in four, three, two. Let's go. 40 seconds. Let's jump. You can do hands on your hips. You can do hands together. Whatever you want, as long as you're bending into your back knee. That's it. Keep going. Woo! Those who are stepping looks good. Those who are jumping looks good. Everyone's moving, and that's what I care about. Nice tie. Get that back knee down. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. All right. 15 seconds left. Don't stop now. See if you can give me 12 more. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, last four. Three, two, and one. We did it. Grab water. Now we get to slow our heart rate down. That does not mean we get to stop working. We have our next exercise, which is donkey kick to fire hydrant. So we're doing four sets of these because we're doing one leg at a time. You can get your size we want. So it is A. Donkey kick, fire hydrant, up, out. Now, as you're doing it, notice my arms are not bending. They are straight and strong the whole time. And my back stays flat, so I'm not doing this. I'm going up, side, up. You got the idea. First 40 seconds, working into the left leg. Ready, set, here we go. Up, out, up. Out. That's it. Keep your core strong the whole time so that the move gets into your glute and your hip, not your back. Mm -hmm. And I'm moving really fast through those. I encourage you to move fast, but what I encourage even more is having good form. So really keep your heel pulled into your butt the whole time so that our hips and our hamstrings are working. Yeah. Awesome. Last 15 seconds. Check to make sure the arms are straight and strong. We're not compensating. We're really working the muscles of the legs. Give me 10. Then we're going to jump right into the right leg in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 40 seconds. Other side. Up, out, up, out. Keep your arms straight. These look awesome. After this side, we'll take a rest. Great job, Instagram, too. We've got some folks hanging out on here. I love it. Nice. We are half done. Pull your heel in towards your butt even more. Even more. Yes. Beautiful. Last 12. Mm -hmm. These are so important. So important. Like the foundations of work. Give me three. Two and one rest. Everyone take your knees wide. Like if you have a mat, mat with, pull your butt back towards your heels and then start to shift forward. Drop your hips down towards the ground. So working through 
a range of motion, our hips and spine, come back, shift forward, one more time, come back, shift forward, and let's work into our second set. So I'm gonna flip around to demonstrate, starting with the left leg, root those palms in the ground, arms straight and strong, 40 seconds, we go up, out, up, out, that's it. Yes. Good. After this, we are going to get our heart rate up again with our cardio boost. We have another exercise, uh, actually on our hands and knees, and then we have our final exercise of the day. So we're about halfway done. Mm -hmm. Last 13 seconds. And then we're going to go right into the other leg in 10. Ooh, squeeze those hips. Get that knee up high for four. Three, two, and switch legs right into the right leg. Good. Up, side. Good. And that donkey kick is the kick back, and the fire hydrant is the kick to the side. You can sure as heck tell why. <laughs> yeah. Good. You want to get super nitpicky with it. Keep your foot flexed the entire time. Activate those muscles even more. We have 50 more seconds. Don't stop. Keep the arms strong as well, because why not? Pull the navel in towards the spine. We've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody hop on up. This is the last time we will be doing our cardio series of the day, so let's make it great. Then we get to come down into our hands and knees again. So get up, do some crazy things, and then take not a rest but a slower pace of movement. All right, overhead jack, 30 seconds. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Nice. On those arms. You know, this might be a little crazy, but I kind of miss the cardio when we don't do it. I don't know. I've just come to like it. I didn't like it in the beginning. Now I do. Give me seven, six, five, four. Lateral drums in three, two, one. Side to side. Get those knees up. Higher, higher, higher. Faster. There we go. <laughs> At least we're all bouncing around like maniacs together. <laughs> Half done. After this, we have our criss cross punch. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Criss cross punch, punch. Light on those feet, rotating onto the back toes to get across the body into the core. Yeah. Woo, there we go. We are half done. After this, we're gonna take a sip of water, then we have two more exercises. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sip of water. While you take your sip of water, I'll demonstrate the next exercise. It is a plank step in and out, but a low plank step in and out. So we come down, no more plank jacks, at least that's a relief. I'm in plank, I step in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. And what you'll notice as I step in, my knees form 90 degree angles underneath my hips and my butt does not move. So I'm not piking up. I'm keeping those knees half an inch off the floor, stepping in as far as I can and stepping out, okay? So make your way into a forearm plank. First 40 seconds, ready? Let's go. As far in as you can, out, out. At least knees under the hips. If you can get even closer, do it. Use your core, get involved. For this one, we have one more exercise to go. What a strong Tuesday it's been. Yeah. There we go, we are half done. <laughs> Good, Woo. all right. Mm -hmm. Last 15 seconds. In, 
In, out, out. Give me 10. Keep that upper body stable. Get the knees in even further for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees, press the butt back to the heels. All right. Second set. Start to shift the weight forward. Make your way into forearm plank. Keep your hips low. Try and keep them as low as you can the whole time. We're going in four, three, two, one. Step in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. That's a step. Awesome. Good. Nice money. Good. Working the hamstrings in order to bend those knees, contracting the hammies, and working the quads front of the leg. Yeah, there we go. Half done. So this, we have one more exercise and some core. And then our stretching. Last 10. Good. Get those knees in even further. Go all in for our last five, four, three, two, and rest. Everybody drop your knees. We're going to make our way out of the exercise together. So come on up to your hands, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, release the hammies that we just worked so hard, pedal the legs out, bending into alternate knees as you drop the other heel to the floor. Yeah, really press into the base of the hands. Get those hips up even more, creating a narrow V shape with the body, upside down V. And then start to walk, walk, walk your hands back towards your feet. Let everything hang. Take two or three breaths here. Our last exercise is a difficult one, and we're going to do fantastic because we always do. Nice and slowly, make your way up to stand, rolling up. All right, we have squat jumps. So we did our lunge jumps. Now we're going to do our squat jumps. We can do these. We do tons of squats. So we go out, in, out. In, out, okay? You can do whatever you want with your hands. I like to keep mine together for stability. So let's start. Feet stepped wide, 40 seconds. Four, three, two, let's go. Go in, squat, in, squat. Up, down, up, down. That's it, you wanna go fast? Go even faster. Yes, keep it up. <laughs> Woo. Oh, we're jumping, we're doing it. Yes. That's great. It's so good. Okay. Half done. <laughs> awesome. Making sure that we're keeping our spine straight as we do this, not slouching out. Only something that they yell about at us about every day, but also very important. Last 10 seconds, we're already there. See if you can give me five more. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Hands on hips, circle them around. One more set. And move around the other direction. Now, in this set, I want you to see if you can give me 20 to 25 squat jumps. That's moving incredibly fast. Whether you make it or not, doesn't matter. Try your best, okay? So I'm only going to tell us when we have 10 seconds left because I don't want to throw off anyone's count, okay? So start in that squat position. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Great. Test out. Yep. Got those hips a little bit lower. If you can, it still is a squat jump, not, not just a jump. Last 10. Four, three, two, and rest. How'd we do? How'd we do? Let me see some numbers. Tell them to me. 
And the goal is not, even if we got to 20 or 25, if we did, that's great. And if we didn't, but we tried our best, then we have something to work towards. And that's all that matters. How many do we do? Let me see some numbers. 29, Mary. Bam. Smashed it out of the park. Look at you guys. 27. Yes. I must have set the goal too low. We've got 29 and 27 already. Okay. Noted for next time. Bonnie, 20. Amazing. Yes. What do you guys know? That's so great. All right. Well, we are done with our leg work. Let's do some core and then we'll call it a day. Good job, everyone. That was nice. Okay. We have two core moves. We are going to do each one twice for 40 seconds, just like we've done the rest of the workout. The first one is knee tap to reach through. You come down onto your back. You tap your knees, reach through. Knee tap, reach through. And you'll notice that my feet aren't going all crazy. They are glued down to the floor the whole time. 40 seconds. Let's do this. Here we go. Curl back. Tap, back, up, back. Tap, back, up. Yeah. Good. And if it's slow, that's okay because it's core. For this one, I'd rather you focus on getting the exercise really right and keeping your feet down than just flying through it and flinging your body around, which is true for most things, but especially core. We've already worked really fast. Good. Last 15 seconds. Good. On that reach through, see if you can come all the way up and off your spine. Use every muscle of your abdomen. Mm -hmm. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. You can be seated on or on your back. Doesn't matter. We're going to take 10 seconds and we're going to do our second set. All right. Let's go ahead and set ourselves up. Root your feet into the floor. Get your tubing out of the way. If you're like me and you're sitting on it. All right. Arms out. Here we go. 40 seconds. We come down. Tap. Down. Reach. Down. Tap. Down. Reach. That tap is kind of like a teaser to help get those muscles time to come all the way up and through. Mm -hmm. And see if you can get all the way down into your back as you do this, maybe even letting your shoulder blades touch the floor so you use the muscles of the abdomen to pull you back up. Yes, half done. After this, we have one more core exercise. And Steve, I saw your email today. Thank you very much. I appreciate the introduction. <laughs> Good, last 10. Woo! See if we can do at least three or four more. Getting all the way up and off the spine, reaching those fingers, using the length of the arms to get us through. Five, four, three, two, and rest. And to rest, let's come all the way down onto our back. Pull the knees into the chest, release the spine for a moment. Our next exercise, I would consider harder. It is a hollow body flutter kick. So a hollow body is when our whole body is extended out. We have that hollow space. We're going to flutter kick for 40 seconds. So let's make our way up into it. Arms back, legs out. If you need to take your legs higher, that's okay. As long as your back stays glued to the ground. 40 seconds, here we go. Flutter kick. There we go. Good. Try and keep your head off the floor. If for some reason your neck gets really tired, you can always take your hands behind the head. But try and keep it up. We have that hollow shape and the whole core is working. Yes. Woo. That's it. Good. We are half done. Keep kicking. Keep kicking. Work through it. If you need to take your legs higher, that's fine. Keep moving. Extend the fingertips and toes away from us. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Knees into the chest. Yes, we have one more set of that. Take a breath, rock side to side. Second set, let's set ourselves up. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Reach the arms back. Extend the legs forward. Make sure every vertebrae is glued to the ground. 40 seconds. We are going. If you want to flutter even smaller, you can. Doesn't matter to me as long as you're working. Yeah. Oh, looks great. Let me see those toes pointed so the legs are active. Mm hmm. We are 
half done. Keep pushing through. Even if you're just holding in the hollow body shape, at least you're working your core, you're doing it. See if you can keep that movement going as well. Last 13 seconds. Yes. Give me 10, pulling the navel into the spine. We're gonna grab the knees and pull them into the chest in five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody grab your knees, pull them into the chest, rock side to side. Then start to guide both knees over to the left, spinal twist to release the back. That was a lot of work. And you'll notice as your core gets stronger and stronger when you do your hollow body hold, you'll be able to drop your legs lower and lower and your core will be able to support them instead of the back arching. Guide both legs over to the right, final twist, other way. Let the breath slow down, relax the back of the shoulders. Bring the legs back to your center. Grab the backs of the thighs. Pull the knees into the chest. And keeping the knees drawn into the body, start to work the legs up and down towards straight. They might not fully straighten because those knees are pulled in and we're actively stretching the hamstring. Give me four. Three. Last two. Extend the legs up, hold them here, and really point and flex the toes. We don't do a whole lot with ankle mobility in this class, but it's something that's really important. Um, when I was actually hiking or backpacking this weekend, I had a moment that could have been really bad with a broken ankle, but because my ankles were pretty mobile, I was able to kind of roll to the side and roll back. And that should be what happens if we work our ankles enough. Draw some circles. Our feet are our foundation, so giving our ankles love, circles the other way, is important. Even if it feels kind of silly. <laughs> and then pull the knees into the chest, start to rock and roll up and down along the spine to come up to sit, propping ourselves all the way up to stand. Last exercise, reach the arms up, take your left hand, grab your right wrist, reach up and over. Hands switch sides. Take your right hand, grab your left wrist, big side body stretch, also getting into that shoulder as you lengthen out. And we do a lot of these stretches in the class because it's important to get the lats and the shoulders really release them. Come back through center, big stretch up and release your arms down. Bring your hands together, round of applause. Awesome work, everyone. We worked hard, we jumped, we moved, we grouped, and it looked great. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you Thanks very much. Well. Go get her. <laughs>